when you're trying to be yourself in a place where everyone always acts the way other people want them to act, it's kind of hard. How you look like, what you say, it's like everything's being monitored, um, monitored by you. It's like you're in an exam or something. Throughout my life I've been called names, fat four eyes, a lot of things. I was just so shy and I wasn't confident like in myself. Before I was restricted in my learning so I wouldn't do things because I'd be scared of what other people would think of me. People have expectations for you to always get an answer right. Students who don't have who don't have English as their first language, I think they can be quite ignored and kind of secluded. I just have to mock about just to get it off my system when I can't understand something. It makes me mad not being able to do work. So I started to bully people and I would go around saying things for no reason, make up lies for no reason. Sometimes what they say can really affect people's emotions and how they see things about themselves. I want to take my education really far. I want, I want to achieve, but I never had the confidence to know that. My name is David Moran, I'm the Acting Chief Executive Officer of uh, EACT, where we're a group of 31 academies spread uh, throughout the country, uh, and, and we've spent the last two days uh, with all the principals of all the schools um, having, having a conversation about leadership uh, and, and what, what makes an impact in our schools. What I believe about human utopia, uh, exhilarating, awesome, constructive, and a big word for me, transcendent. So I hope you enjoy this afternoon session. Today we've been joined by Human Utopia and a group of students from a number of our academies to remind us what we're about and to focus on some of the quite amazing work Human Utopia does in terms of raising aspirations, looking at expectations and ultimately improving life chances for young people. We didn't know each other this morning, they were all mixed up for the rest of the morning and he's done brilliantly so they're going to come and join you for the rest of the afternoon. Guys, please come and join the group. Thank you. At the start I was nervous meeting new head teachers because it's quite nerve wracking. You can see that they're nervous as well meeting new people. It wasn't actually that scary because it was just like talking to normal people, it wasn't like talking to well, we just got to know them and stuff and do activism and it's just really good to get to know them as they are, not as how you think they are. We talked about bin filling, the picking order. If I'm in a lesson and they're not there, I'm like a really nice person, but like when they're there I feel the need to show off sometimes. I don't really care about what people think about me, so I am quite a confident person. I believe I'm at the bottom of the picking order because people use it sort of call me names and things because I were different and they enjoyed reading and things. The kids who tend to get the talk uh, tend to be loud and real, real boisterous but they also tend to be the kind of rude kids who kind of shout out in class. That became a warm up The thing about EACT is that we're there to give young people from disadvantaged backgrounds a real go. And I think that's where the natural connection with Human Utopia is and what they did today demonstrated the kind of connections we can make and how we can work together. The heroes were absolutely fabulous. They demonstrated what difference the organisation makes and how working together we can deliver so much more for young people. I feel a bit more confident myself. I can talk to teachers and a teacher that I haven't talked to before. We've got a way to finish about having some robust dialogue with what we're all about, which is the kids, which is the students, which is their life chances.